Well, good morning into the WVLT Now desk. We'll wait just a few more minutes or seconds to let some people jump on before we update you with some more news out of the Austin East community on this Wednesday morning, March the 10th. We'll puck it again inside the WVLT Now desk. We just got news that a the Knoxville Police Department has said a fourth Austin East student has died from a shooting. The information that we have so far from the Knoxville Police Department is that a 15 year old showed up last night at about 1122 in the evening to the UT Medical Center with a gunshot wound at about 545 this morning. Officials over at UT Medical said that that student, the 15 year old, formerly a, or a student at Austin East, had died again about 545 this morning is when that student died and they showed up at UT Medical around 1122 last night. This is again the fourth Austin East student killed since the end of January. The first student was killed on January the 27th that uh, a suspect has been arrested and charged in that shooting. However, there are still two Austin East students who have possible killers that are still out there. And the Knoxville Police Department is offering a $5,000 reward in those shootings. Here are a little bit of, here's a little bit of video from those shootings. Let's start going down this list. Again, the first student was a student killed on January the 27th and arrest was made shortly thereafter and someone has been charged in that one. And then on February 12th, a 16 year old was leaving school from Austin East in the afternoon. Stanley Freeman was shot and killed. Police have said that they do not suspect this is actually video right now from that scene on February the 12th. Knoxville police say that Freeman was not the intended target in that shooting or they do not believe that he was the intended target in that shooting. He died on again February the 12th and then less than a week later, 15 year old Janaria Muhammad was shot on February the 16th outside of her home immediately after that shooting the morning after the Knoxville police along with officials from Knox County schools got together and said you can see footage from that meeting in the Austin East community. They got together and were very adamant that things had to change. Knoxville Police Chief Eve Thomas said that the Knoxville Police Department was stepping up patrols in the Austin East area. They were going to add multiple other multiple officers and try their hardest to keep school resource officers in Austin East to start communicating and showing kids that you can tell officers anything that you need. And so the news now of another Austin East student shot and killed comes as a shock to many and is in a community that's still trying to grasp where to move on. And you can see some of just everything that this community has been doing to reach out. And so we're gonna be following this for as long as we can, you can go to WVLT.TV or you can get on the WVLT News app and you can read the story that we have online right now. Again, details right now extremely limited. This is a juvenile, of course, and so police will not release the child's name, but they have confirmed that it was a student at Austin East High School. The fourth one since the end of January. We have a timeline beginning to be built out in this web story on WVLT.TV. But again, let's quickly run through this as now a fourth Austin East student has been shot and killed this school year. The first one was on January 27th. An arrest has been made in that and someone is charged in connection with that shooting. And then on February 12th, Stanley Freeman, a 16 year old, was leaving school and was shot while driving his car. Officials say that he they do not believe that he was the intended target in that shooting. And then just less than a week later, on February the 16th in, at night, right outside of her house, 15 year old Janaria Muhammad was shot and killed. Both the shooters in that one still out there. Officials are offering a $5,000 reward to find out who did that. And then today's news at 1122 last night, a 15 year old showed up at UT Medical Center with gunshot wounds. 
and officials at UT Medical Center at f said at 545 this morning that that 15 year old had died. Knoxville police are asking for the public's help in any of the three, the now three shootings where no suspects are out there. They're asking you to call the KPD anonymous tip line at 865-215-7212. One, two. We'll continue to follow this all day. You can stay up to date right here on the WVLT Facebook page and, of course, the WVLT News app and WVLT.TV. We'll continue to update you as officials release any and all information after a fourth Austin East high school student was shot and killed, was shot last night and died early this morning.